Oceania, myriad specks of land within a vast expanse of sea, the Pacific Ocean, geographically divided into three broad regions, Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. One plant occupies a central place within the many island cultures of Oceania. This plant is commonly known as kava. The cultivation, preparation, and rituals of kava vary from island to island, but in general, the symbolic role of kava is and always has been the same everywhere. Kava is the link between the world of humans and the world of spirits. No friendship can be formed, no visitor welcomed, no decision made without kava and its assurances of help from the spirit world. A very long time ago, orphan twins, a brother and a sister, lived happily on an island in the north of the archipelago that today is called Vanuatu. One night, the boy, who loved his sister very much, had to protect her from a stranger who asked to marry her but whom she had refused. In the struggle that ensued, the frustrated suitor let loose an arrow that struck the girl and killed her. Distraught, the boy brought his sister's body home dug a grave and buried her. He often went to mourn by her grave. After a week, and before any weeds had grown over her tomb, a plant appeared which he'd never seen before. It had risen alone on the grave, and he decided not to pull it up. A year passed and the sorrowful boy still had not been able to quell the suffering he felt from his sister's death. One day, he saw a rat gnaw at the plant's roots and die. His immediate impulse was to end his own life by eating large amounts of the plant's roots. But when he tried, instead of dying, he forgot all his unhappiness. So he often came back to eat the magic roots and taught their use to others.
It is late afternoon. Moses, Betu, Temakon and Lala are leaving Bunlap, a village of about 300 people in southeast Pentecost, an island in Vanuatu. The men are going to one of the many carver fields near the village. As they set out, the sun sinks behind a mountain range separating the east half of the island from the west. Because of these mountains, the exchange of goods and ideas is difficult between the various communities of the island. Their isolation is one reason Bunlap villagers retain a distinct lifestyle, one which has been passed from generation to generation for at least 3,000 years. But according to Watas, a village elder, things have started to change. Tracks that are constantly renewed and enlarged are the only pathways for the people of Bunlap. Here there are neither animals nor wheels for transport. People must carry everything. After a 40-minute walk, passing taro, manioc and other carver plots, the men reach Temakon's carver garden. Oceania is one of the few culture areas where alcoholic beverages were virtually unknown at the time of contact with Europeans. Instead, the islanders cultivated kava. Northern Vanuatu is the most likely homeland of kava. 82 out of a total of 118 cultivars of the plant originate from this region. <laughs> One kaba, we call them gurguru. I got one kind by again, we call them lag lag. Mo I one by again, we call them sintagiri. Sintagiri, na we pass kaba ya. Ale I one by again, we call them kera kera. Ale I got one by again, and them one mi tamai bo. Ale we kaba we mi plan ista plan em lom plesa hemi ana. Ocha mi kat plan de kaba be every kaba ino kam lom plesa yet. From some time you drink one, you have them say you tight long another one, but you call another one back again. Eh? Yes, I'm here. 